Hey, what's up guys? This is Physicist from Torpedo Ted's Gaming, and I'm here to show you how to update your... Up, well, update and install your Minecraft Tropicraft server to 1.4.7. Mojang has implemented a new way to install mods to make it significantly easier. So, that way it's not as hard to uninstall a mod so that we don't have to reset your bin and all kinds of other stuff. It's a lot more simple. Alright. So, first thing we're going to need is we're going to need Tropicraft. You have the second link here on this page. And you got to download your Tropicraft. Render Player API is no longer required. Yay. That's one less mod you have to worry about. So once you get all those downloaded, you mosey on over here to Minecraft. You go to download, and you download your server, which I already have all these things downloaded here in a nice neat little folder. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a nice brand new folder for this so it's not so cluttered in our downloads here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Minecraft server, move it over here, and uh, don't worry about this little file here. It's just to help me... Uh, run the server a little bit easier so I don't have to worry about my Java giving me crap. So, yeah. Anyway, now to install the mods, you're going to need to create two new folders. First one is going to be called Core Mods. You got to make sure that it's all lowercase and one word. This is where we're going to be sticking uh, the Tropicraft. Now we're going to make a second folder and we're just going to call that Mods. This is where we're going to put all the other mods. So first thing is we're going to go over here into Tropicraft and we're going to pull out we're going to pull out the Tropicraft from Minecraft the jar here. We're going to move that and just drop it. You don't have to extract the jar, you don't have to take anything out of the jar, you don't have to put anything in the jar. You just leave it be as itself so that way your mod will run. If you extract anything out of here or anything you tamper with this, your mod's not going to work. You just take it out of your WinRAR and drop it in here. Next, we go to our mods, and that's what the Coral AI and the Weather Mod, this is where they go. You don't have to extract those either. You just leave them in their little zip. I will, though, I will say, though, uh, this Weather Mod is uh, it's optional. So, if you want better frames, you can just not install this. But if you want the full experience, go right ahead. But yeah, you do not extract them. This is of utmost importance. You do not extract them. I'm going to say this quite a few times. Do not extract them, or else your mods won't work. I know in the past, all you had, you had to extract everything and drop it into your bin. No. No. They fixed that. So yeah, you just drop it here, and you leave it. Now, we have to go install our Forge. You have to make sure you have the right version of Forge, otherwise <laughs> Minecraft will crash several times on you. Trust me, I know. I've had that happen to me. So we're going to back up. Go, we're going go to um, gonna go to our Forge here. What you do is you just select everything, move it over, and let WinRod do its thing or whatever your program is. Just let it do its thing. Once it's done, you can close everything out. And you can get rid of that. And now we can run our server. Now, I will be including this little helper file just in case if you have any problems with your Java and whatnot. But uh, all you should have to do to get this to work, you just go to properties and see mine's already set to Java. But if you wanted to change this to Java, you set change, and then you click Java, SE binary, click OK, and then you hit apply. And then OK. And then it should, it should just work by double-clicking that. But for me, since my Java gives me problems, I'm just going to use my little helper file here. So, you double-click this, and it should be doing, it should say some weird funky stuff here. And since mine... I have mine to set to a command prompt, so mine will pop up and look like this. 
if you use my helper file it's gonna look like this if not I'll sh uh, if not it'll look like it should look like this if you just double click on that this is what it should look like it's just a little bit more graphical and it gives you a little bit more data on what your server is doing to me that's not necessary so yeah and then you just go into your minecraft here threat has been detected okay now what just happened is apparently tumblr is under attack by some hacker whatnots so yeah if you have some sort of antivirus thing and it pops up and it tells you this it you might not be able to play minecraft or you might be able to I'm not sure how Tumblr's handing, handling this or how quick it's going to be solved. So, yeah. If you can play Minecraft, good for, good for you. But if you can't, you're just going to have to wait for Tumblr to sort it out. So, I'm just going to log in here. FML shall be setting up. And Minecraft just closed on me. Thank you. That's probably uh, Avast working there. Thank you, Avast. And we just let it set up, go to multiplayer, go to my local host server, and ba boom, looky there. It's a nice world, look at that. And there's pineapple, looky looky. Pineapple. Oh hey, would, wow, would you look at that? They actually made it so that way the palm trees, they spawn on beaches. But yeah, this makes it so... This makes it look so much better. I like this. I think that they should implement palm trees on beaches. It makes it look a lot nicer. But yeah. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I am using a custom texture pack, which is probably why it looks weird. But yeah. So there's... And so that's how you install it. I will be including the helper file in the download, and I also will be... And I, there will also be tons of links in the description to help, maybe help you along if you get stuck, or just to find the files to download, which, which is perfectly okay. So yeah, after all that, you have yourself a floating grass. But uh, yeah, you have yourself a nice, your uh, server going. So if you liked what you saw. Or if it helped, please leave a like on our channel. If you have any questions, please, please ask away, and I will try to help you to the best of my ability. I'm not saying I'm com a complete computer here, but if you have any problems, I probably had them before and done with them. Okay. And I might be able to help you out. And if you didn't like what you saw, well, we've already been through this, haven't we? So, all's well and all's well. We will. I leave you with a duck that looks like a mallard. Or some sort of other species of duck. Thank you, and good night.